Did you know Louis Vuitton makes watches? This is the Louis Vuitton Tambour, a watch that was reintroduced in 2023. The Tambour is actually a watch by Louis Vuitton that has existed for over 20 years, officially introduced in 2002. My dad actually has one of these older Tambours because, fun fact, we used to make watch straps for Louis Vuitton. This is the new Louis Vuitton Tambour and it's much better than the old one and I must say it's very aesthetically pleasing and it sits fantastic on the wrist. Let's talk a little bit about Louis Vuitton and the whole aspect of watches. You all know or should know Louis Vuitton as one of the major luxury fashion brands. It's one of the highest premium brands. It did actually make sense for a brand like Louis Vuitton to enter the watch space and they did with a couple of pieces. And they've always had this aspect of creating so high horology pieces, watches with complications such as minute repeaters. And they have a special manufacturer for that, La Fabrique du Temps, which is situated in Geneva and uh, usually caters to the more extravagant types of watches. La Fabrique du Temps will also in the future create the pieces for Daniel Roth and Gérard Genta. But La Fabrique du Temps actually never made a simple three-hand movement. And that's exactly what uh, Jean Arnaud, the head of the watch department at Louis Vuitton, wanted to do. After 21 years of the tambour being on the market, they decided to re-enter the space and recreate this iconic shape actually for, for Louis Vuitton and do better. So they focused heavily on a fantastic movement. They focused heavily on finishing. They focused heavily on design and they focused on a contemporary watch that works with the current zeitgeist and also still embraces the iconic shape of the tambour. The watch that I have here with me is the reference number W1ST10, a stainless steel time only integrated bracelet watch with a very, very nice silverish dial. And there's one particular thing that I'd like to note here. One key aspect that has changed, at least for me as a user, and I had both tambours in hand, the old one and the new one. And one key factor that has changed for me is the thickness of the case. With the old tambour, we had approximately 13 millimeters and it felt kind of out of place, bulky at some times, even though the watch isn't that big. But now we have a stainless steel case, a round case with 40 millimeters of case diameter and just over eight millimeters of thickness. They created the watch in a way that the bottom side of the case is, well, it has a small step. So the watch merges with your skin or sinks into your skin a little bit more, making it as such that the watch is even thinner than it says on the spec sheet. And this attention to detail you will see throughout the whole watch, starting from the case, going on to the bracelet, obviously the movement, and also on the dial. You will notice if you look at the dial, it doesn't say Swiss made. It says Fabricant Suisse, which is a nod to the older vintage watches that didn't say Swiss made, but also said Fabricant Suisse. If you turn it around, you will see the very nicely finished first ever three hand movement created by La Fabrique du Temps, which usually just makes minute repeaters high complications, um, the LFT 023. It's very nicely finished. Also here we see the attention to detail again. You have a rose gold micro rotor automatic movement and the micro rotor is finished in a way that only Louis Vuitton could do with this monogram motif. But also the rest of the parts of the movement are all finished, even the ones that you don't see. The movement has a power reserve of 50 hours. The watch is water resistant to 50 meters. I'm not sure why it's not 100 meters. They could have done 100 meters, but 
it's okay. Probably it will hold if you take it for a swim. For everyday use, obviously 50 meters are totally fine. It's much better than 30, to be fair. I'm not particularly the guy that likes integrated bracelet watches because I prefer to wear our leather straps or our rubber straps, whatever I want. I want to change my straps. You can't do this here with the tambour. I must say, the bracelet is executed in a way that is very, very nice. There's no complaint here from me, even though at some point I would wish for a tambour with a leather strap. And if you guys want to do leather straps again with us, please let me know. I would be happy to, or even with a rubber strap and potentially even see a quick exchange mechanism for it. I do think that there's potential for this watch there. This watch did surprise me in a way that I did not expect. The level of attention to detail, you really see that uh, Jean Arnaud is actually a collector at heart, as he says in his Hodinkee video. And also you see this whole attention to detail in these watches. And this is exactly what I love as a passionate watch collector or passionate watch enthusiast. I love this attention to detail. I love that people are thinking about these little things. Like instead of putting Swiss made on the dial, because everyone is putting Swiss made on the dial, you put Fabriqué en Suisse on the dial. Thinking a little bit of outside of the box. I appreciate that. I really, really liked this watch. It sat on the wrist so nicely. You cannot imagine unless you've tried it out yourself. So if you can get your hands on one and try it out I'm pretty sure you would not regret it and I expect a lot from Louis Vuitton and especially from Jean Arnaud in the future and I'm really eager to see what they are going to do with Daniel Roth and Gerard Genta as a brand let's stay tuned for what is to come in terms of watches watches and wonders is around the corner as well so there's going to be a lot I really enjoyed my time with the Louis Vuitton tambour it was a great watch I did not expect it I really liked the dial it's very I want to say plain, but plain in a way that very aesthetically pleasing. If you want to check out the watch in, in all of its details, I'll have a link down below for you to check out the watch. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. And let me know in the comments as well what you generally think about uh, these luxury houses getting into watchmaking. If you want to talk about it, put it in the comments down below. If you want to send me a DM, head on over to Instagram. And if you want to see more pictures, of this particular watch, you will also see them on Instagram, so go there. If you want to check out two of my previous reviews of watches, here are two videos for you to watch. And that's it. That's it for today. We will see each other in another video very, very soon. And as always, if you feel like it, put a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.